Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Strong and Balance. This is your first time joining us, and if you're unsure if this class is right for you, we ask you to speak to a physician or physical therapist to see if this will be a good fit. To start, we'll get a quick warm up in. Go ahead and get a nice, comfortable stance. Feet about hip width, to shoulder apart. You stand up nice and straight. You're going to do a head circle. So bring your neck, your head around in a circle. We'll go all one direction to start, and then we'll switch directions. And switch directions. Now we'll go the other way. And we'll do one more. Very nice. Next one. Have arms out to the side. You can keep your chest up nice and tall. Do some arm circles. So bring them forward to start. Keep your arms nice and straight. Bring them forward. And three, two, one. Now backwards. So we're warming up everything from our head down to our toes. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next one. You can separate your feet a little bit more. Give yourself a nice good base. You're now going to rotate side to side, all right? So you're going to bring your torso towards one side, rotate your shoulders to the other. You can even add in a little bit of hip movement with it. You can kind of let your arms freely swing with you as well. So you go from one side over to the other. And three, two, and one. Our final one will be warming up our lower body. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either do some steps side to side, or you can add in a small lunge. You can step behind that leg. You can do either or. You can even add in some arm movements as move side to side, get a little bit more movement going on. And side to side. And three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, we're going to do some heel toe raises. So feel free to get next to something you have support, whether it's a wall, countertop, anything around you. Uh, if you feel like you need it or just want a safety net, this exercise you can all do next to something. First one you're new, we're going to go up on our toes. And then back on our heels, all right? So again, if you do it next to something, have that support as you're going up and back. And make sure you keep your core engaged. So that means a pelvic, uh, pelvic tilt. So that means bring your belly button in, you shift your hips slightly down, squeeze those stomach muscles, all right? That's a pelvic tilt and engages the core and it helps protect your back. And you want a slight bend in your knees. Turn the music up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So again, nice soft knees, going up on your toes and then back on your heels. And if you need to hold on to something even near you so that way you can reset yourself if needed. Let's do two more. You got two. Final one. Very nice. All righty, next one. Get into our balance stance. So we have four different balance stances, all right? They get harder as we progress up. So the first one is feet together. I should stand feet together. Second one is you now bring one foot in front of the other. You have a little bit of space in front of it. And then the closer you bring your feet, the more challenging it gets. So heel toes, the next step up. And then the last one is single leg, all right? So you can start a little lower and then again progress up as you go. So get your balance stance. We're gonna add in head turns from one shoulder to the next. All right, so we'll do it for 40 seconds each side. If you do feet together, I'll just let you know, you'll keep doing what you're doing. So you're getting your balance stance. So we do feet together, one foot on the other, heel toe or single leg. And we'll go for 40 seconds, here we go. So looking from one shoulder over to the other. And make sure you have that pelvic tilt. This is really important in this exercise. And you also have that nice soft knee, right? That'll make it easier to balance. 
once you lock that up, tighten up, it's, a little, it's, it's harder. Especially when you're looking from side to side, harder to focus on one area, makes it a little more challenging to balance. And you can do it next to something if you'd like for support. You got five more seconds and three, two, one. Now we're gonna switch sides, right? So whatever foot was in front, switch, or if you're doing feet together, do the same thing. And here we go, looking from one side to the next. You don't have to look very fast from side to side. It can be a nice controlled look from each side. And I want you to try to keep your chest stuck, right? Try to stand up tall when you're doing this, even if it means you maybe take a step down from the challenge. And we're almost there. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Very nice. Next up, we are going to grab a set of weights. So if you don't have weights at home, if you use anything you can hold uh, to substitute for, it, whether it's you know two cans, long detergent, water bottles, get creative. So next one we will do is we'll do, you can do one of two exercises, right? Depending on how it feels on your shoulders. So you're start, you're gonna stand with your feet together. So you're gonna be a little more challenging. Your feet are together, right? Those soft knees. And then you're gonna do either side raises. So you're gonna lift this weight up towards the shoulder height or just before, you don't wanna go higher than your shoulder height and back down. If this bothers your shoulders, you can do an alternating hammer curl instead, keeping your palms by your side, rotating this weight up and down. All right, so you do one of two exercises. We'll go for 40 seconds, and here we go. So you want that pelvic tilt for both these exercises, whichever one you pick, right? Engage that core, especially when you're moving this weight. You want to keep yourself still so your core keeps you still as you swing this weight up and down. And I want you to have nice controlled motions with it. Again, you can do either the side raises or the alternating hammer curl, whatever feels most comfortable on your shoulders. And you're almost there. And three, two, and final one. Very nice. Go ahead and set these weights off to the side. Next up, we will be doing a single leg heel raise. All right. So this one you can definitely do next to something or holding on if you want that support. And have one leg planted on the floor. The opposite one can either be in front of you, be off to the side. You can wrap it on your leg wherever it's most comfortable. You go up on your toes and back down. All right, so a single leg heel raise. So if you want support, feel free to use support to help you balance, especially if you want it in front of you. You're coming up on the toes and back down. This will be very important to have that soft bend in the knee. And again, that pelvic tilt, right? Now you're supporting more weight on that one leg, so it's a little harder. This is too challenging. Feel free to do just a heel raise with both feet on the floor. And get nice controlled movements with this. Especially when you control the descent down. Don't feel like you're just plopping down. Really control that. It'll make it a little more challenging. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. Go ahead and shake out those legs. Now we will switch sides. And here we go, same thing, coming up on those toes, back down, and repeating. Again, try to keep your chest up, engage that core, that pelvic tilt, nice soft knee on the opposite leg. Everyone's doing good, you're almost there. Let's do three more, so three. Two, and final one. Very nice. Next, we'll do a hamstring stretch, right? So we're gonna stretch the back of our legs. So to do this, again, you can have something next to you for support. You're gonna start 
You have one leg slightly in front of the other. You're going to keep it straight with this toe pointed up. All right. So this leg will stay straight the entire time. The opposite leg, you're going to bend it. All right. So you're going to start keep try to keep your upper body straight. You're going to bring your hips back. So you're kind of like you're hinging at the hips. So your chest comes forward as your hips sink back. This leg bends. Everyone stay straight. And you'll go until you feel a stretch in the back of the leg that's straight. All right. So again, you're just bringing these hips back, bringing that chest forward, bending over that leg. All right. You can rest your hands on that bent leg. You can rest it on a table or something in front of you, next to you. Again, whatever's most comfortable for you. And we'll hold it. And again, never force a stretch. Always ease into it. And you want to hold it in the spot. Like in the yeah, the spot that you feel the stretch. So once you feel it, hold it there. And three, two, one. Slowly come out of that. Same thing that will switch sides. So keep one leg straight. You're gonna bend one again, hinge those hips back, lean forward. And feel that stretch in the back of that leg. And three, two, one, slowly come out of that. Very nice. Next one we will do, we're going to do a single leg, we're gonna draw with the opposite leg, all right? So keep one leg planted on the floor, all right? So one leg will be still. Again, you can hold on to something during this. Opposite leg, we're going to draw, a, let's draw a square today, all right? So, you have one leg planted on the floor, the other leg, you're gonna go up to the side in the form of a square. All right, you can change it up. You can go different directions. You can make it a small square. You can make it more of a rectangle and kind of change how you draw this with the opposite leg. Make it a parallelogram if you'd like. Get crazy with it. And as you do it, you can do it one of two ways. You can either draw that square, you can reset, and then draw another one, or you can do a continuous, if you're able to draw, and you can even like stop at each corner. Again, that leg is planted, keep that nice soft knee. You can hold on to something if you'd like, you need some support. And you can shift directions. You can shift the shape of it, you can get creative. And three, two, and one. Feel free to shake out those legs. It's a little tiring on the leg that's holding it. And we'll switch legs now. And here we go. So let's bring this leg up, back, forward. You can have your hands on your hips. You can have them by your side. You can offset it with having the opposite hand out. Hold on to something. Find what's comfortable for you and works for you. Again, you're bringing it out, over, in, shift directions, make a parallelogram. You can make anything you'd like. Oh, tried changing the volume, got distracted. Install. You got three, two, and one. There we go. And feel free to shake out those legs. All righty. Next one we'll do, you need a little bit of space. We're gonna do some steps side to side, all right? So you're gonna start facing forward. I want a nice soft bending your knees, all right? So you're not gonna be standing straight up, stepping side to side, makes it harder. Have a slight bend, you don't have to be down in the squat, but a slight bend, nice, comfortable, all right? So you can kind of absorb the steps and take a step to the side, landing with your forefoot, landing on the balls of your feet, your toes. Take a few paces to the side and then go back the other way, all right? So you wanna keep your chest up. Again, nice soft bend in the knees. Stepping side to side. If you need to, you can use like a wall for support or countertop as you're stepping. You can have this here to guide you if you need a little bit of support with balance. And you're going back and forth. All right. So you're stepping side to side. Again, landing on the balls of your feet. 
right? You're not landing flat footed. And you're a few paces back and forth. Don't need a ton of room. Don't have to go all the way around your entire house. If you do, that's great, but you don't have to. Just a few steps each side. Let's do one more down and back. Very nice. All right, we've got one more exercise. Then we're going to take a break and move down to the floor. Our next one. Another single leg balance exercise. So you're going to keep one leg on the floor, hopefully. And you're going to lift the opposite leg out to the side, back in. All right, so this leg says before, the opposite leg will be up. And you're going to move the opposite hand, opposite arm with that leg. All right, so you can have the opposite hand on your hip. You can hold on to something in front of you if you'd like. So you're lifting one arm up, one leg, off to the side, and in. All right. Just like this, again, keep that chest up. Everyone's looking good. Let's do two more. You got two and one more. Very nice. Again, feel free to shake out these legs. And now we're gonna go back, switch to the other side. You can have one hand on your hip, opposite leg coming straight out. And you can also hold on to something if you'd like, raising the side and up. And three, two, final one. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna move down the floor. You can do it from your floor a mat, a bed, whatever is available to you at home that is most comfortable for you. So feel free to take a quick water break, be back here in a minute or two, and finish off with the rest of class, all right? Help us on the way. Thanks for coming in. Hi. All righty, everybody. Everyone, as you're finding your way down, I'll start to explain the first exercise. You can also use a pillow as well if you'd like for underneath your head. Oh, go this way. Ah, go this way. All right, we'll start on our backs. All right, the first one you will do is a bridge. All right, so you'll be on your back with your knees bent. Uh, go this way. Back with your knees bent, you're going to have your feet about, you know, hip width apart, make them comfortable. You're going to lift your hips and back up off the floor and then lower them back down. All right. So you can keep your arms by your side. You're lifting them straight up and down. And as you do it, you want to make sure you're pushing your weight through your heels. So you can even lift up your toes if you'd like and push through your heels, bringing your hips up and down. All right, we'll go for 40 seconds. Here we go. So raise those up. 
lower down, and repeat. You can even add a slight pause at the top if you'd like for a little more of a challenge. As you're navigating this exercise, bring it up, lowering down, and repeating. And let's do two more. We got two and final one. Very nice. Next up will be a quick stretch. So you're gonna keep your legs bent. You're gonna take one leg so that your ankle's right below that knee, all right? So it's on the bent leg. Next up, you can do three different variations depending on how flexible you are, how tight your muscles are. If you feel stretched just like this, having your leg up here, you can keep it in this position right, if you feel that stretch. If you want a little more of a stretch, you can gently push this leg that's bent away from your body until you feel a deeper stretch, right? Hold in the spot where you feel the stretch or the third way, the one with the most aggressive stretch, you're gonna grab behind the leg that was on the floor and gently pull it in towards your chest, all right? So again, you can either just have the leg up on that bent leg, you can push it away from your body, or grab behind that leg on the floor, right behind the knee and pull it in towards your chest, all right? So there's three ways to do it. Again, you can pick which way it feels most comfortable for you and you get the best stretch for you. Everyone's body is different. And each day is also different too with what your bodies feel like. So maybe one day you can do the more aggressive stretch, but today like, yeah, I've been a little tight. Been a lot of shopping, a lot of walking around. Maybe I should do, the more gentle ones, you're feeling a little tight today and work your way up to the more aggressive stretch. And three, two, one, and slowly come out of that. All right. And we're gonna switch legs, same thing, either have just the leg resting here, gently push it away, or pull this in towards your body, all right? And we'll hold it again, the spot where you feel that stretch. And three. Two and one, slowly come out of that stretch. Next one we'll do is a lower trunk rotation. It's gonna keep your legs bent with your knees together, feet on the floor, arms out by your side. You're gonna lower your hips and your legs towards one side of your bed or the floor. And then you'll alternate, lower them towards the other side, all right? Again, go as far as your range of motion lets you. When you're doing this one, you might have your legs all the way down the floor. You might have them only moving a little bit off to the side. Don't force anything. Go to the point where you feel the stretch. And it's okay, your hips and low back may come off the floor. You just wanna keep your shoulders on that floor or your bed. We'll do a few more each side. Again, you can hold it for a few seconds at the end of that movement if you want a little more of a stretch out of this. Make sure we're good on time. Let's do one more. Very nice. All right, you're now gonna go onto your side or do clamshells. All right, so you're gonna either a pillow under your head. You can have it so your arm is underneath there. You're gonna keep your feet together with your legs bent. Your feet will stay together the entire time. You're gonna raise up this top leg off the bottom, lower it down and repeat, all right? When you do this, make sure you keep your hips stacked over each other, all right? To prevent yourself from either rolling backwards or forwards, you wanna just keep your hips in the same spot. That way you can really isolate muscles in your hips and glutes to do all the work. And again, you're just lifting this leg up, 
lowering it down and repeating. Everyone's looking good. Let's do two more. And two. Nice job. Now we'll switch sides. This will be our last one of the morning. So finish off nice and strong today. And you're ready for whatever the day brings you. All righty. Get on your side, legs bent, feet together. Here we go. Raise this leg up, lower down, repeat. Keep your hips stacked over each other. Nicely done. Almost there, let's do two more. We got two and final one. Nicely done. That's all for this morning for Strong and Balanced. Thank you everybody for joining and enjoy the rest of your day.